welcome everybody on this cool day. Um, I'm going to have Eric come up and he's going to represent the Treasurer Committee and he's going to talk a little bit about his report. Then we'll get that um, report approved and then we're going to talk a little bit um, about repurposing now visioning. So, um, thank you, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Any questions about this? <laughs> First, I want to thank Becky. She puts all this together. They are. She puts in into this and into the church. Um, there, there is one quick correction on the first page. On the first line of electricity, you'll see 22,000 and change. That needs to be 2,000. So, and if you carry that all the way through, it, it reduces under 2021 actual down to 98,347 Um, the front page is our budget. We basically sit down and look at last year's expenses, just carry it through. Really no fluff here. We, we, we just look at our expenses. Um, I'm going to ask for questions as we go through. Is there any questions on the first or second page in regards to the budget? On the second page, you'll see our offering and our donations. And if you skip down to the second to the last line, basically what we did is we took our offering and donations and we subtracted that from our budget, our operating expenses. And you can see where we were for the last three years, we, we operate at a deficit. We're lucky to have endowments where we receive income from to offset that deficit. The endowments, the income from the endowments, that's not a guaranteed income. And everybody needs to realize that moving forward that if we do have a, a downturn in the market and things change, we might not have that income. So, any questions there? The next page is our profit and loss statement. And that can include it. The building and maintenance costs on the back of the profit and loss statement. And if you'll flip over to this page right here with the color graph on it, that shows our offering and it shows our operating expenses for each month and it shows our gaps. On the next page are our endowments, which are all with Edward Jones. And on the back of that page shows what they did last year under their upper dam. And this page right here, the investments. So, for instance, we borrowed the borrowed the first one. She gave five thousand dollars, and in most all of these, they want us to use the interest or the income. We're not supposed to get into principal, and some of them even even state just use the interest, meaning we have to put it into a fixed. Can anybody follow CD rates and know what those are? So five thousand dollars at a quarter of a percent isn't going to generate too much income. So. We're very mindful of that. We have to protect the initial investment. That's all we got all the steward of every money in the church. Um, we, we don't want to get to a point where we, I don't know if, how we'd be forced to tap into the principal, but we don't want to get to that point. 
I don't know if that's growing membership, putting more money in the offering plate, more donations. I don't know how we'll get to that end goal, but it, it needs to be on everybody's thought moving forward. Any questions for me? Or on the report? I'll go over here. Mm -hmm. There you are. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. So at this time, um, I will entertain a motion to approve this year's <coughs> Thank you, Joe. And is it a second by Skywalker? Is there any further discussion? Joe? Just a quick comment. Many thanks to Eric and his leadership and also to the Treasury team for all that you do for us. Okay, with that in mind, uh, all in favor of the budget report, please say aye.
repurposing work through multiple meetings from May until September 2021. This included gathering data about our facilities and church members' interests, identifying needs and opportunities in the Woodstock area, and drafting mission and vision statements. These statements were approved by the consistory in September 2021. Building on this foundation, St. Paul's retained the services of Jill White to facilitate a visioning process to identify our core ministry priorities for the next five years. From September to December 2021, this included 34 members of St. Paul's participated in two information gathering sessions. 11 people participated in a half-day retreat to review the information gathered and then prioritize this into four mission priorities. A writing team was appointed by the consistory, which has started work drafting a strategic plan based on those priorities with assistance from members of the congregation. And from visioning to action, the draft plan with, with specific action steps will be presented by the writing team to the consistory for review and then presented to St. Paul's congregation for approval in 2022. The plan will address the issues that have emerged over the past two years, from budget concerns to facility use to focused ministries based upon a clear vision. It is an exciting time to be a part of St. Paul's as it continues to be a welcoming church that lives by faith, is known by love, and is a voice of hope to the world. Thank you for your time. So that, that concludes the report. We've had a lot of wonderful people involved in this process, and we, um, in the very beginning, it was a daunting task, and it reminded me of a little story that I just have to throw in me here. I heard mother laughing one day, and I came and she was watching TV, and there was this man from, uh, oh, he's British. Anyway, he was, he was being interviewed, it was a, Kind of a fake interview by a newscaster because he had decided that he was going to jump the British, the English Channel. And that's kind of where we started. We felt like we had to jump the English Channel. But um, with every, we, we have a pretty um, wonderful congregation in that we have a lot of fresh ideas. We have um, a lot of wonderful talent and time that has been poured into this process. And I think when we finish, we will have a much clearer view of where we're headed and how we're gonna get there. So I, I wish we had more people here today, but I know that the weather is not the best and we will, um, Becky's taking, Right? Yes. So um, everyone will have an opportunity to hear this report, to think about it, and um, we will keep you updated as we go because this is, you are the church, and I am the church, and we are the church together. Yeah.